Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to this video. And I wanted to do a quick intro, intro and let you know kind of what you're watching. So this is my good friend and coaching client, Keith Long from Legacy Hardwood Co. He's up in Fairfax, Virginia. And we're gonna be talking about his crazy growth of his business in the last seven or eight months. And um, I wanted to bring you along for the fun uh, as we interviewed him and had a, had just a candid conversation about the highs and the lows, the good, the bad, the ugly of growing his business so rapidly in such a short amount of time. So with that being said, let's dive into the video. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the podcast. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. And with me today, I have my dear friend, Mr. Keith Long. Thank you for joining me, man. Thanks, Zach. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. I want to just visit with you some today and get your story. You've had a crazy whirlwind, like eight months. Yep. And uh, wanted to just kind of talk about that, talk about your life, your business, and um, also kind of where where you're headed, what, what the future looks like for you. So so real quick, man. Um. You, we got connected because you you are a client of mine in the Woodworking Business Accelerator program, but we got, con that that's really how we met each other and how we got connected. So how did you come across my, my podcast? How did you find me? I came across your podcast through a Facebook ad, and I'm sure we'll talk about that a little bit later, but I uh, found it on a Facebook ad, started listening to it. And I was doing some sanding in the shop um, when the kids went down, catching up on projects. And I just binged your first, at the time you only had about 50 episodes. Mm -hmm. I think I, I think I listened to all 50 in a week, week or two. Wow. Yeah. And uh, I would just, it just struck a nerve with me and I'm sure we'll talk about it, but yeah, I was super excited to find it. It really helped me. It motivated me extremely to a point where I, I uh, called my wife. I'm like, Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to pay Zach $2,000. Let's do this. And she's like, hold on, let me come home. Let's talk about it. <laughs> but um, I found, yeah. I found it on, on uh, Facebook. Awesome. That's cool. I didn't know that actually. That's really neat. Cool. So, so out of, obviously there's lots of podcast episodes, but do you remember any one in particular that like impacted you the most that, that kind of just stuck with you the most? I don't, I wouldn't be able to tell you off the bat, the name of it or episode number, but there was a couple, it wasn't really talking about, you know, dollar values or what product sells best, but it was just talking about like the mental side of, you know, what's holding you back, why you're not succeeding, why, why aren't you going for it? And that really kind of made me think about why I haven't taken it, taken this to the next step. And um, there was a couple of them that really just really like hit me. And I'm like, yes, I could do this. Why am I not doing it? And it really just got my mind going, thinking about making something more intentional, creating something for myself and for my family. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So what was your business like when you found me kind of just walk me through like what you did on a monthly basis, you know, obviously like financially, like, were you a one man show? Did you already have a team? Were you working out of a shop already out of your garage? Just kind of yeah, give me an overview sure. of what your business looked like when you found me. I was working out of my two car garage. I was working by myself and I did it in the evenings or when my wife gave me a break from the kids um, on Sundays or something. And I was doing a project a month, but every other month, kind of as I got them, family, friends, I had a couple Facebook ads out like custom tables, but I was doing mainly dining tables, custom tables, one-offs. And I would do anywhere from a thousand to 2000 bucks a month. And that's pretty much, you know, a thousand dollar table, $2,000 table. And I would be able to do about one a month with the, with the time I was putting into it. Right. And so just quick side note here, you, you still work a full-time job, right? So you, yes. you work a full-time job. You've got how many kids? Two kids, three-year-old and my son's almost two. And you're married. So husband, father, full-time job. So yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I work remotely. So I'm able to, or I, when I, before I started your program, I would jump out there for lunches. You know, when, when I logged off, I'd go jump into the garage. And then when the kids go down I'd jump out there and I would be in there till midnight or however long. Right. And uh, yeah. Cool, man. So, so you're doing about a thousand, two thousand dollars a month. You'd have the one off dining table or you did some barn doors and stuff too, right? Yeah. I got, I got into a barn door kick. Um, it kind of yeah. came in waves. Right. Well, I did some reclaimed barn doors, tables, um, custom tables. And we haven't mentioned the name of your business yet. Legacy Hardwood Co. Yes. In Fairfax, Virginia. We're actually doing this interview and you're at the beach. Are you at the, are you at the beach 
in Virginia or we're, we're, we're in South Carolina, Myrtle, Myrtle beach. Okay. Yeah, okay my wife, good. my wife's family has had a house here for a couple of decades and we come down here a couple times a year, usually once in January and in the summer. That's nice. That's cool. So, so what has been, so obviously you've grown rapidly. We haven't really dived into how, how quickly you actually grew the business. Yeah. Right? It's been a, it has been a whirlwind. Um, it has been crazy. Um, when I, so there, we're in January. So this time last year, 2022, I had talked about with my wife, just about like goals for me, goals for my, my little side business. And I wanted to do like $10,000, basically $10,000 profit in the year mm -hmm. and started doing that. And I started trying to be more intentional with my ads and like marketing, trying to get some business. And then I came across your podcast and that just was the gasoline on the fire that I needed. <laughs> and it was, a. Uh, yeah, like I said, we, we hit the ground running. I think it was back in, when did we start? I start with you, April? I think it was April. Yeah. Right. So I had been, I had been thinking about making this business a little bigger. I loved, I love woodworking. I loved um, working with my hands. I, I love doing it. And I wanted to do it with more intention, found your program. And in, as soon as we got started, we hit the ground running, started running sales or ads, getting sales. And I started, I got a, got a couple guys working for me. Um, it's been, it's been awesome. Yeah. It's hard to slow down now to, to where you are now and like really think through every step of the way that, that you've taken. So, so like month one or like within like the first 10 days, actually, we started running ads and you got two sales, right. For like 7,500 bucks, $8,000 within like a week. Yes. Yeah, so that was what kickstarted and bankrolled the first two months of getting started. I was right. able to order material. I was ordered, able to get set up with the, our chair vendor, mm -hmm. you know, set, set up the LLCs, everything based on off of those deposits. Right. And that was just amazing to get right off the bat. I don't know where I, what I would have done. I mean, I, I would have just floated it cause I had my, my day job, but um, it was really, really nice to have those orders right off the bat that were from those ads. Yeah. And so kind of, a unique story of Keith's honestly is that like the second month that we ran ads, we really didn't get a lot of play. Like it was right when it was right when the economy went nuts for just a, for just a minute and gas prices skyrocketed and all of my clients and in, my business included all of, all of us, like we didn't get really great results. And it was like, uh, yeah, that was May, I think. Yep. Um, but you stuck with it. You stayed in the program. And then I think the next month, do you happen to remember what we did? The, the uh, month? We went something like seven, seven or eight, zero, 14. And then we've been just crushing it Climb, ever since. Climbing ever Climb, since. Climbing ever since. It, 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 you yeah. know, to me, relative to me, that's a, it, it's been a, it's been incredible. Yeah. Um, I'm glad I didn't get hit hard at the beginning because I was still really figuring out processes. And through the program, work, working with you, working with like Alexa and the other other members of the program, I was able to slowly, more slow, you know, not so fast, figure out my processes, figure out how to how to teach a guy to do exactly what I do, and right. make it repeatable, all that stuff. So now we're really cooking, and we're able to crank projects out with good quality, and it's been good. Yeah. So October. So month before your best month, but October, you did like 30, mm -hmm. 30,000, 30,000. I can't, I can't remember the exact, but it's right around 30. Yeah. And then November you did 58,000, almost $59,000 in sales. Yep. It was insane. And this it is was, your, great this way. is like, this is like your seventh month of business, like six months of like, from the time that you started the program, like we got you, a, got you a website built, got an official LLC business bank accounts, like like six or seven months in, you do $58,000 in a month. Yep. Crazy. And then last month, which I, which December and January are notoriously slow. And it was one of those things where I repeatedly like, was just like, Hey guys, don't have like super high expectations. It's always pretty slow. Well, Keith just ignored me and still did like, what did you end up doing? Like 38 grand? Yes. 38. Still did $38,000 in sales in December. So super, super cool. So Tell everybody, like hitting the ground running in April. So you didn't really sell anything January, February, March. Hitting the ground running in April. 
How much did you do in total sales for the year of 2022? We were just short of 200,000. We were at 198. Okay. 200,000. So, yep. so you, you built a $200,000 woodworking business in like eight months. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. With the help of you and the program, it's been, it's been so good. Your ads are, are amazing. Um, it's, it works, it works so well for me, what, what I do. And it's been a challenge yeah. like, like figuring out how to talk to clients. And, and that was a, a, a learning curve I had to navigate, but yeah, I'm, I think we're in a rhythm now where we're able to, to, I mean, the results are speaking for themselves. We're doing okay. Yeah. So that's, that kind of leads me into my next question is what has been the biggest challenge? Because obviously anytime that you, you're changing your life pretty dramatically, right? Like this is not something that you can kind of tippy toe into. I mean, there's, there's some dramatic changes. So we went from working in the garage to having a commercial shop and yes. working by yourself to having a couple employees. And obviously this is just a, a all new ball game. And so what has been the biggest challenge in kind of on your journey of growth? Uh, it's been, it's been a challenge to at times to balance the day job and a growing business and it's, in, it's infancy, you know, it's early on. So, and then I had a couple employees cycle through that didn't stick around for long. So I was, I was having to train a lot. Um, uh, and then balancing the family life. My wife's been amazing. Um, she's letting me chase this dream and she's yeah. my biggest supporter. And I could, I wouldn't be here at this point where I am without her. So some nights I am like the kids go down, I got to go, got to go to the shop, got to take care of um, catching up on orders, what, what am, whatever it may be but she's been an amazing supporter. So sometimes balancing that's been tough because um, she takes on a lot of the, the burden of the taking care of our kids. Family, right. You're right. So I'll oftentimes feel guilty about going to the shop or, but she, but she gets it. She understands what we're trying to accomplish here. Um, business wise, I think delivery has been pretty tricky for me trying to, trying to do that in an effective, efficient way. Um, I feel like I'm paying a little much, but, um, it's been good. It's been, it hasn't been everything you elevate also, like you talk about this in your podcast a lot. Every time you go from like, we went from my two car garage, no overhead. And then all of a sudden I have a $3,000 rent plus all the, all the taxes, all the, it's been challenging to figure out that all out. Just um, managing it. Yeah. Just, just managing it, making sure you're not missing anything and making sure my numbers are right. Um, but right. with the help of, I mean, I, I lean on you a lot. I lean on the program a lot. The other members in the program, um, we all have a group chat, which has been incredible. Um, yeah, I'm able to, 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 to lean on you guys to figure things out. And just as a sounding board, you guys answer my questions and it pretty, pretty quickly too. So it's kind of nice. Right. For sure. So what would you say, if you can just kind of outline, like what, what have been your favorite parts of the program? What has really helped you the most and what, what has been super beneficial and what have you, what have you enjoyed the most about the program? Sure. I, when I first started, I didn't know what I didn't know. So uh, I didn't know where to start on my own. I didn't know mm -hmm. whether to become an LLC or not. Uh, I didn't know how to get set up tax wise. And the first two months were really cool for me. I, I just like learning new stuff. I like a challenge and that was certainly a challenge for me was to get set up officially could set up with vendors where you get mm -hmm. some cost savings, get set up with a tax ID where you can get those vendor setups, setting up a website. The beginning was great for me. Um, since then, um, like I've talked about earlier, just, just using the program as a signing board. Hey guys, what do you do when you, you're doing this with the project? And this happens. Mm -hmm. how, how, how do you guys fix this issue with wood or whatever it might be? The right. other other members like Alexa, Tyler, uh, Trey, everyone in the in the program is so knowledgeable, and if and we're also really humble. Where if we don't know something, we we bounce it off each other. Um, right. That's one one thing I really enjoy is is the Slack group, the yeah the camaraderie of the group. Yeah, I think that's one of the 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 things that I kind of thought of as like an afterthought, but it's really has shined as being one of the most beneficial parts of the program is all of us just being able to immediately get feedback uh, if we're walking through a project or having problems with customers or having financial things that we're trying to work through or taxes or anything regarding your woodworking business, you basically have a place where you can immediately ask and you have other A players that are doing the right. same thing that you are that have either 
fate have already faced it or somebody has gone through it and can speak to that. That's really, right. it's, it's pretty cool. And then you, some, some people navigate things differently. So it's, it's just good to get different perspectives and um, just take what you can from the, from that little conversation. Yeah, for sure. And so you mentioned it earlier, but I do run your ads for you and those have worked really, really well um, and, and done. They've exceeded my expectations. So I did a little bit of research. Keith, Keith has gotten like over like a 20 return, 20 X return on every dollar that he's putting into his ads. So for every dollar he has spent, he's generated over $20 in revenue up to this point, which is crazy. So just first of all, congrats. That's super cool. And it's, Thanks. it's, it's pretty cool to be able to, to, for me to look back and say like, man, this is really working and I'm glad that I can play a part in, in your business. So, so cool. So what, um, what are some of your goals moving forward, man? What's, well, what's, what's the thought here? That's a good question. When, when I first started the program, I wanted the, this program to replace my W2 income eventually. Mm -hmm. But I mean, since I started, I've been working my full-time job and I'm able to take care of my job, give honest days, work, honest days effort at, the, at my day job and still have the time to manage my team. So right. that's, that's kind of my, my goals have shifted to where I, I want to try and keep my W2, grow the business on the side mm -hmm. and eventually have someone take over what I'm doing now actually managing and running the business. So that's kind of, that's kind of, that's kind of how it's, how it's uh, panning out. But um, yeah, financially I, we, we, we did, we produced 46 tables, table sets in that seven month span. Most of them, most of them in the last three months. Yeah. So, so we're going to try and double that next year, um, which I think is very, 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 very possible for us. So that's just uh, yeah. trying to, trying to produce and keep up with the, the sales that we're getting. Cool. Cool. So for someone considering joining the program, what advice would you give them? What do they need to know before they come in? What do they not need to know? Uh, and what, what do you really feel like has set you apart and made you successful and allowed you to continue moving? And, and, the, and one of the, one of the things I'll say is even in the face of like having those challenges that you've faced, like what's allowed you to be successful and continue moving forward. Um, good support system. So my wife, my, my, my family, they are my, they, they support me in what I'm doing. That's been, mm -hmm. that's been great for someone that wants to consider your program. I think something that's more becoming more and more clear to me is time, how much time you have in your day. Mm -hmm. And I could have fumbled around 2022 by myself and maybe, maybe figured it out, but I was shot out of a cannon with you. And I was able to accelerate from day one to a legit business with a website running ads, getting sales. And it's been, we're hitting the ground running ever since. So it's worth, I, I, and this is just my, from, from my perspective, it's worth the investment. And, and in the grand scheme of things, it's dropping a bucket for what, right. what this is becoming for me. And it's worth it to me. So that that's, that's kind of one thing. That's how I, that's how I rationalized it was I can, I can give this, I can give Zach this $2,000 upfront investment and figure it all out without having to fumble around and right. maybe, maybe do it right. Not knowing, but it was, it was so nice at the beginning of the program to have you and your, your material walk me through the steps. Like literally right. here's what you got to do for taxes. Here's what you got to do for LLC. Here's what you have to do for your vendors. Here's what you have to do for everything. So it was like so easy for me right. to just tackle it, go for it because I had your, um, your course. Yeah. And another thing I just remember I'm flat, I'm flashing back a little bit here is like, right. When Keith started getting these people started responding to his ads. I mean, I would hop on the phone with Keith and be like, okay, they said this, this is what you need to say. Like, this is, this is how you navigate these sales conversations. And, and it really didn't take you long. Like I, I did that a few times and you just took it and ran, but, but um, just the support there from like a, just a conversational and sales training side of things as well. Yep. So that like, we have the ads, they're bringing you leads. We know how to sell. We know how to have those conversations. We're closing the sales and then you're, we're building out the back in the fulfillment team as well. So, so that's awesome. Okay. I've got four questions for you. This is called our fire round. And so this is just fun, man. This is, this is uh these are just fun questions um, that I, that I want to start asking all my guests. Okay. And, 
And number one is what is your favorite woodworking skill resource? So like, whether it be like a YouTube channel, a guy that you follow on social media, not business related, just like getting good at actually woodworking. Like who's your favorite guy to watch? Uh, yeah, my entire woodworking skills, I've all learned from YouTube, the variety of a variety of channels, um, a lot of stumpy nubs. Um, I mean, there's so many, uh, there's so many hard ones to choose from. John Malecki mm -hmm. um, yeah. came with Blacktail Studios. Like there's so many little things I take away from everyone's beat videos and what I like. Right. Um, but YouTube, it's amazing. You can, you can like how to, how to do X, Y, Z and you can find it in 10 seconds. Right. Love it. Okay. So what book do you believe that everybody should read? Oh, I honestly, I'm not a big book reader and that's one of my weaknesses. I, I've, I've, yeah. uh, I've, uh, I need, I'm working on a 2023, but, um, I recently, you know, Jeannie and Davis, they, they run a woodworking business program. If you haven't heard of them, look them up. But they, they, they suggested a one hour work day, which is a good book about being productive. And, um, that's something I'm reading starting. It's just started. I haven't really, I haven't really, uh, finished it, but, um, yeah. Nice. Cool. Okay. What is, what is your favorite hobby? What do you like to do in your free time, which you're a husband and a dad. So I kind of know where you're probably going to go with this, but yeah. Um, if, I'm, if this is say, I don't have the kids around. Um, well, I might go fishing, kayaking. I'm a big, I'm a big outdoors guy. And I, I I'm also a really into sports. I still play men's lacrosse. Um, I'm in a couple of men's leagues. So nice. just try and stay active. Cool. Cool. Yeah. For, you coach lacrosse too, right? Yeah, my wife and I. Well, my, I've coached for a long time. I stepped away from coaching when we had our second kid. It was just getting too 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 much of a time suck. Coaching, yeah. coaching is a pretty selfless um, endeavor, especially when you do high, high school sports. But my my wife still coaches. She still does club in high school. Uh, she's incredible. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, so last question is: Where can our listeners find you and check out more about your business, more about you? Where do they need to go? Facebook and Instagram is where I'm on on most actively uh legacy hardwood co on on instagram and legacy hardwoods on facebook um yeah come check us out cool all right man thanks for being on the show and uh for those of you watching um leave us a comment let us know your favorite part about keith's story let us know um what el who else you want me to interview that's one of the things that we're trying to do in 2023 is bring in a lot more people and uh, have a lot more conversations instead of me just rattling off whatever's on top of my head. So, so, all right, man. Hey, well, thanks for having you. me on Zach. Appreciate it. Have a good 2023. Absolutely. Let's do it, man. All right. Bye. Bye.